Hello students, my name is Vineet and you are welcome to Aglasim School. Today we are going to discuss class 4th EVS chapter number 16 that is a busy month. So before moving to the question answer, first we have to look on the summary of the chapter. The summary of the chapter is, this is a letter from Gijubhai Badeka to all the students reading this. In this letter he has described about the birds he saw while traveling throughout the day. He also observed the different kind of nests they make, how the birds feed their babies, how they make their nests. He saw many birds like sparrow, dove, sunbird, crow, quail, Indian robin, pigeon, etc. He concluded the letter by stating a big concern about the birds that they have many enemies like cat, rat, squirrels, and above all, we humans. So this was the summary from this chapter. Now let's move on to the question answer. At page number 130, question number 1. How many years ago did uh, Gejubhai write this letter? The answer is, Gejubhai wrote this letter about 71 years ago. Question number 2. Find out how old your grandmother and grandfather were at that time. The answer is, my grandfather was 1 year old and my grandmother was not even born. Question number 3. This letter talks about many different birds. How many of these have you seen? The answer is, I have seen dove, Indian robin, crow, quail, barbet, sunbird, etc. Question 4. How many other birds have you seen? Answer is, many, for example, sparrow, eagle, vulture, pigeon, etc. Question number 5. Have you seen a bird's nest? Where did you see it? The answer is, yes. I have seen a bird nest on the branch of a tree at page number 131. Question number 6. Which is your favorite bird? Can you show your friend in the class how it flies and what sound it makes? The answer is my favorite bird is quail. Question 7. Guess this bird. A, a crown on the head and a coins on the tail. So many shades of blue from top to tail. The clue is it is a national bird. It's very simple. The answer is this is a peacock. Question number 8. Do you know of any other bird that makes its nest in a tree trunk like the barbet does? Answer is yes. Woodpecker makes its nest in a tree trunk like a barbet does. Question number 9. If there is a nest inside or around your house, look at it carefully. Remember do not go near to the nest and do not touch it. If you do, then the bird will not come to the nest again. Observe the nest for some days and note down the, some, the same thing. First, where is the nest made? Answer, the nest is made on a, on a branch. Second, what is the nest made of? The answer is, the nest is made of straws and dry leaves. Third, is the nest complete or are the birds still making it? The answer is, it is complete. Fourth, can you recognize what bird it is? The answer is, it is a sparrow. Fifth, what things does a bird bring to the nest? The answer is, the bird brings straws, worms, etc. to the nest. Sixth, is there any bird sitting on the nest? Answer, yes, one sparrow is sitting on the nest. At page number 132. Seventh, do you think there is an egg in the nest? Answer, yes, there are eggs in the nest. Eight, can you hear any sound like chee chee from the nest? Answer, yes, I can hear chee chee sounds from the nests. 9. If there are chicks in the nest, what do the parent bird brings for them to eat? The answer is, the parent bird brings insects, grains, etc. for them to eat. 10. How many times in an hour do the bird come to the nest? The answer is, the bird come to the nest 2 to 3 times in an hour. 11. After how many days did the chicks leave the nest? The answer is, after one and a half month, the chicks leave the nest. 12th. Make picture of the nest that you observe. The answer is on your screen. At page number 135. Find out about your own teeth and write. The answer is your age will be 9 years. How many teeth do you have? 18. How many of your teeth fallen or broken? Yes. 2. How many new teeth do you have? 1. How many of you milk teeth have fallen but no new teeth have come in their place? The answer is 2. Find out more about your teeth. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन लुक एट ईच अदर टीथ आर देर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ टीथ ड्रॉ द फ्रंट टीथ ड्रॉ ऑन फ्रंट टीथ एंड ऑन बैक टीथ इन द बॉक्सेस गिवन बिलो कैन यू सी एनी डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टीथ आंसर इज फ्रंट टीथ इज ऑन योर स्क्रीन बैक टीथ ऑन योर स्क्रीन द फ्रंट टीथ आर फ्लैट द बैक टीथ आर राउंड एट पेज नंबर हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन If you did not have front teeth, both top and bottom, how would you eat a guava? Act and show how. Answer is: If I did not have teeth, I would eat guava like an old man. Question number twelve: You do not have any teeth in your mouth. What kind of things would you be able to eat? The answer is: I will be able to eat only soft things and liquid. Question thirteen: Draw a picture. How would you look if you have no teeth? The answer is on your screen. Question number fourteen: Find out from old people who do not have teeth what are the kinds of things they cannot eat. The answer is: They cannot eat hard things. They cannot eat lettuce, tandoori roti, etc. Draw a picture of a bird commonly seen in your area. Label its various parts. The answer is on your screen. I hope this uh, video will really help you all. Like this video and share it with your friend. And yes, yeah, do not forget to subscribe to Agla Sam School so that you will never miss any chapter from us. We will be back with next chapter. Till then, Tara.